Hi there, my name is David, and I want to talk about Strandberg guitars today. Uh, specifically the indoor neck and the ergonomic features of Strandberg guitars, because I feel as though lots of people don't really get uh, the point of Strandberg guitars and get the point of how it's all supposed to work, um, even though it seems so simple to me. Um, so I'm going to go over some of those little things today. Uh, first of all, lots of people say that uh, it hurts their hand at first, uh, up on the the neck where it's it's beginning people say that hurts their hand because it's a thick trapezoid um and i kind of understand that if you don't understand how to uh utilize the indoor neck up on, in those regions so <clears throat> there's a trapezoid there with a little layer a little sort of bridge there you can rest your hand on and, and what that does is if you have hand problems um like i do i have what's called a de Quervin's tensiovitis, which is a thumb problem that extends to like my wrist. What you can do is instead of applying pressure with the entirety of your forearm and your thumb, uh, sort of in a forward motion, you can press it down with your thumb and really utilize that knuckle there, that third knuckle or second knuckle there to um, get the proper amount of pressure from the right places, which I find to be incredibly helpful. Um, and lots of my guitar students, they really struggle with chords in that area as beginners so whenever i have them use my guitar they always nail those chords like right away and i think that's because the indoor neck gives them that platform to properly utilize their uh thumb if you go down the indoor neck as you go down towards the uh i guess it'd be up wouldn't it <laughs> if, if you go up the indoor neck um and go up towards the pickups obviously it creates this sort of like bridge where your thumb is supposed to rest upon the uh, uh, the indoor neck. And it's supposed to be kind of the same thing. I'm not sure if I utilize that bridge quite as well as I should do. Um, but if you have your guitar in classical position, which is how I play now after all these years, and you utilize that bridge, one, you'll find that your thumb is always pressing down. So instead of your wrist pressing forward and squeezing, everything is pressing down, which is just better for your wrist if all the muscles are working properly. Secondly, you'll find that your wrist will stay completely straight. So lots of people that have carpal tunnel, which I don't think that I do, um, but lots of people that have carpal tunnel have a struggle with their wrist when it bends. So if you have it in classical position and you follow that bridge, you will keep your wrists completely straight as you are playing. So these are the obvious indoor neck benefits. Lots of people don't play guitar like this. Um, and lots of people don't have any hand problems. I think I would almost say the majority of people, it seems like, don't have severe hand problems. So for them, it, they're like, why would I do this? And that's totally valid. If you don't have hand problems, you don't have any soreness in your forearms or your flexor tendons aren't sore, uh, it's not going to really affect you. But someone like me, I have a golfer's elbow, el gar golfer's elbow, and I have uh, the Quervian's tensioitis. And I also just have really sensitive forearm flexors because of those two things. Um, so I find the Strandberg when I use it properly and I'm giving lessons and stuff, um, I, like, like I have to play. Like if, if I have a flare up, which I'm having right now, um, I just won't play. It's not a big deal. I'll, I'll take a couple weeks off. It happens. I just pulled something or I, I heard it work or I slept funny. It's, it's not a huge deal. Um, but I'm a guitar teacher, so I have to give lessons now. Um, and I find the only guitar that I can really work properly on when I'm having a flare up is a Strandberg because of the indoor neck. Um, if I use like my Telecaster, I'll find myself hurting my hands and my wrists a lot more. But if I use my indoor neck, uh, I find that my hand does not hurt as much. So when I see videos talking about how the indoor neck is counterproductive, that's, I understand if you play guitar in a um, not so ergonomic position, you don't really care about this kind of thing, it doesn't really affect you, um, which is fine. And that's good, I mean, you're lucky. I think you're a luckier person and you're totally entitled to that opinion. Um, but I think you'll find as you age, because um, I'm 32 now, almost 33, uh, your, your wrist just starts to hurt a little bit, your forearms hurt a little bit, your your your, your joints hurt, especially if you do athletic stuff, like I do jujitsu, um, and I work in a, in a grocery store where I lift heavy boxes all day, um, and so just my forearms are hurting, and I give guitar lessons. So my hands are being used all day long. I'm also a gamer, um, and I am on my phone a lot. So my hands are doomed. So the only real thing I can use is a Strandberg to alleviate those problems because of the reasons I've listed. Anyways, I want to just clear this up real fast uh, because I'm seeing videos talking about how the indoor neck 
isn't the best isn't the best neck and there are other necks that are better it's not actually ergonomic and i'm not the kind of guy that likes to simp for companies i think there's lots of great guitar brands um the kiesel is great mayoness is great obviously sore is great but what strandberg is is different it's different it's like the mac of, of guitar it's different you you can't really get anything like a strandberg unless you get a strandberg it's because it's different. I know there's like some Chinese copies now doing the indoor neck, which is super lame. Um, but you, you can't get anything like the Strandberg unless you buy a Strandberg. And that is why I play Strandberg. So I hope that does clear things up a little bit about the indoor neck and about Strandberg. And if you do have hand problems, you have wrist problems, you have elbow problems, uh, a good solution to help some of that is to get better posture when you play. And then if you get a Strandberg with the indoor neck and you follow that little bridge that it provides you, it will sincerely really help your guitar playing. And I hope you find this helpful. Thank you for watching. I love you. Bye. Goodbye.